we're going to look at the power of active listening and how is that playing a role in communicating and influencing other people. But before I go into principles of active listening and strategies of active listening, let me share with you a staggering statistic. You probably have heard this before, but for me, it was quite new. The words we say account for only 7% of communication. In other words, 93% of our communication is not about the words we say. And so many times we give so much focus and we focus so much on what we say. When in fact, the way we say, how we say, the poses, the body language, everything else accounts for 93% of our communication. And I remember a time when, as part of the Maxwell leadership, we got a bonus from our team at one point. We got a license to use one of John Maxwell's keynotes. That was valuable to us. And so we got the script of the talk. Now, going through the script and kind of reading the words, and you say, well, is this John? Like, this doesn't sound like the highest paid speaker in the United States. Like, something must be wrong. And then I look at the recording of the talk. And that was exactly the speech. That was exactly the transcript of that. Because the script didn't have John's voice in there. The script didn't have all the inflections. The script didn't have the pauses, the body language, everything that John would do on a stage to convey the message. It was not present in the script. And that really hit home. And I really understand that Words only account for 7%. In that moment, everything became clear for me because I looked at John and the way he was communicating that message, and then I read the script. It almost like it was from another talk. So remember, the words we say account for only 7% of communication. The rest is tone of voice, body language, inflection, wording, everything else 